said, I'll tell you niggas that want to shine. Just know it's going to cost you this bitch. Subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Danny Houston. Yeah, man, it's going down. It's Danny Houston Podcast. I am Danny Houston. Check it out, man. We got two guests from the legendary Bodney Boys, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ed and Will Lee. What's going down, man? What's happening? What's happening, man? Cool. cool. How y'all boys feeling? Will Lee back, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's going down, man? Man, just glad to be in the building, man. Yeah, I'm just another day, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's new, man? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, we see note, we see, you know what I'm saying, D Red, you know what I'm saying, we see Will Lee. We don't too much see, you know, you and Dez too much, you know what I mean? So, what's been going down, man? Well, you know, I've been gone for a minute, you know, um, had to sit down, but it gave me time to get my mind right, so the game plan is, man, to just come out here, new mind frame, you know, new man, and just with a fresh start, so, you know, focused on businesses and still doing the music and everything, you know, everybody else kind of still, they ain't miss a beat, you know, they still been going but uh just had to you know redirect my steps mm. get back focused and just you know start it all over again man I'm, I'm at it no I'm I'm really. that's what it is well what's yeah, the deal man what's up man what's up man yeah man like I say doing some legendary shit right here Donnie you yeah. know what I'm saying like man knowing this boy forever like man you know talking about the trenches when I say trenches man hey, hey I'm talking about trenches, man. And, yeah, shit. <laughs> you know, like my boy say, man, he been gone for a minute. You know, that's why it was it was crazy because when you um when we were dropping these albums, he owned these songs, you know, and but when we drop them, my nigga gone. You know mm. what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, we're here. You know, or who is this person? Right? You know, just like. It was just that it was man. It, it was crazy because come home, record. You know, shit happened. You know, and he gone. Album drop. Mm. You know, so I feel like I feel like um, he never got to enjoy or see what we had going on at the time with the music. You know what I'm saying? So uh, like right now, like there's some legendary shit. I didn't did. Thousand interviews, radio interviews, man. But this the first one that I'm doing with him. Mm, you know what I'm saying? This my bro, like damn. Right on, man. Yeah. I know how, like, you know, I know how you and C know man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did how you and how did you end up? Uh, how you met with Lane and, and C know and everybody, everybody and everything? Man, this Cloverland, man. Yeah. Cloverland brought us all together. Yeah. Man. You know, like, and uh, I mean. We, the Botany name was known from the street. Before rap, before anything, man. You know, even before hustling, man. When we was little kids playing football on Botany, yeah. when people see them, they say, that's them boys out Botany, man. Mm -hmm. They came from around there off Botany, you know. So it's like Cloverland Park, man. We playing yeah. basketball. We in the swimming pool. We in the field playing football. Yeah. It's just like. And it's like elementary, middle school type shit. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Yep. Way swimming team type of shit, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? You boys yeah, on the man, swimming team. team. Man, yeah. I was, man. <laughs> yeah. you, know, we, you know, we we wasn't yeah. gonna let him live that one down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That OG <laughs> still don't let you know the hey. little speedos and shit you wear. I, I, hey, I was you know a kid why he though. Yeah. Said I was it, though, a kid though. Because he knew I was if he didn't. Yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nah, but for real yeah. though, man, we just like grew up from kids together, man. That's why I yeah. say like, well, a lot of people don't understand about Botany, man. Man, it was love. I'm talking about like a brotherhood before anything else, you know. You know, like before the rap game, the Botany boys had a name, you know what I mean? Like we jumped off the porch early. You know, we young kids, like 15 to 16. And what I think made Botany like stand out 
I don't think it, it's that we were doing anything that anybody else wasn't doing in the street, but we was the youngest ones. <laughs> mm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, we 15, 16, you see guys like 19, 20 pulling up on swingers or pulling up in the 190s and doing their thing, like at McGregor Park or something. You know, you'll see all, all the OGs, the dudes we looked up to pull up, you know what I'm saying? They got females all around them. Then you see about six or seven cars black and white and when the doors open and the occupants get out <laughs> they this big <laughs> so it don't matter what you know these guys look like they supposed to be with doing what they doing yeah. <laughs> people look at us like man what the little boys and then we got the bgs gator third shane you know we got them with us and they ain't nothing but nah, they, yeah, they, they super little <laughs> they like, wait 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 they was that young, young with y'all when y'all was like that too oh yeah yeah, yeah well you know they our little they, brother so we're going to, to mcgregor park to kick it and chill see, bring my little brother come on y'all let me finish my, my, man yeah. this was uh <laughs> listen this was like probably like 92 and capital this thing capital 92. now you know, Gator had a driver rivet, black and white. So I get, you in ninety two, yeah, he about. But 14. Gator was younger than y'all, yeah, right? He about 14, 14, 15, yeah. So yeah, yeah. now thirteen. And so I, I always talk about man, he had this camera, man. You know, this camera, and I say, man, back then it was state of the art, man. Got it from the smoker, man. And, but it was like the big camera, and everybody had this camera, like in the like. I might have it a couple of days. <laughs> then I might have a couple of days. See, see no um, Gator pulling them there and probably had a camera. And they just stay recording. We stand by fresh tapes for it. So look, man, but it had like the little VCR plug in it where you could just plug it to the back of the TV mm -hmm. and push play and, and watch it and use the camera as a VCR. I ain't nowhere around. This is one day after the capital. So yeah, we didn't. I done got the camera back, so now I want to go home and see, look back, look at the footage. Man, these little niggas in front of my mama house. <laughs> three in the morning. Gator, third, pool, 380 Kim Folk, Tobe, I know you. Mm -hmm. Tobe, they out there. I'm not even at my mama house. My mama in the house. They outside, <laughs> three in the morning. <laughs> under the street, like, rapping. <laughs> Man, third. No. Yeah, yeah, the youngest one. Dude. He bought this little. <laughs> Gator wasn't too far from behind. A little bit over third, yeah. They got all kind of guns, <laughs> grabbing them. Listen, this three something in the morning in Slab front of my mama's house. Out there. In front of the they just out there rapping like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like. When y'all do this? When they do like. <laughs> when but I, I'm looking at what they got on. I know we went to the capital, capital that day. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. They looking stupid little. <laughs> I'm talking about like elementary school little. Is like, that tape still? Y'all still got them tapes around? Somewhere? Yeah. No shit. Yeah, got all, every, all of it, everything. Like, yeah, yeah, got all that. Yeah. Okay, see, that's what I wanted to know though, because y'all was so young. How do y'all even get put on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Even get in position like that. We had everybody, big cousins and big homies, and our era was the era of like say no to drugs, you know what I'm saying? To the point of using them. So I I, I really can't explain it, but I can, but we all just had a mindset about getting money. Cause like I say, we see like, like OG Ant, you know what I'm saying? We see these boys doing what they doing. And like we got, like I say, we got Kim folks that's doing their thing, you know? So we started out at, at the level, and we could have went to these certain Kim folks and got a pack. Well, we didn't do that. Mm. You we wanted to get everything on our own, like yeah. Go out there with twenty dollars. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like yeah, this him. <laughs> one man, one day I'm, hey man, we got a nigga had a little something, man. I'm like, ask him, man, you he no get to the block, had a couple of little, little, little things, and he, where you get them from? Tell him woo woo. He like the shit. Tell that nigga I need a half. <laughs> what? I say, nigga, that's like nine grand. 
I'm like, I'm I'm like, like one hand. Look, look. So I'm like, nigga, what, what, what I'm, but you understand, like, okay. Wait, wait, wait. You was how old at this time on this? About sixteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. Okay, who was first out of y'all to jump out there? Um. Well, we well, probably jumped out there at the same time, but see, Will, I got, he got history in different areas. Yeah. He you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, his, his grandmother lived on Wilmington in Sunnyside, so he yeah. got big cousins, you know, so, you know, you know, he was make, making moves, doing this little thing, yeah. and, um, but we, like I say, we all stemmed out of clothing. Yeah. So it's like, once we touch bases back, we doing, he doing what he doing, I'm doing what I'm doing. Now we doing this together. Mm. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I probably yeah. think like he probably jumped out before me because. Yeah, I'm a little older, so. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was like, yeah, because it was, I felt like Trey and boys in the hood and he, <laughs> mama dropped them off because we had moved to Broadway Square. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went to Milby like my first uh, freshman in high school. So. Later that year, we moved back to South Park. I'm seeing like, I'm around all this shit, like, but I'm playing ball and shit. People want me to go a whole different way. Yeah. I get back to the hood, like, they got what? <laughs> huh? Yeah. They got us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so hey, that, it was like shit, like, I'm back, like, yeah, man, but, yeah. More, my introduction was more so like, uh, Pretty much how I got connected to Dez and uh, C, you know, Pappy. Because, man, when you say Botany Boys, a lot of people just think about us that rap. Yeah. Mm-mm. Nah. It's Botany Boys that ain't never touched the mic. I mean, die hard, real cats. You know what I'm saying? Ziggy, Lil Eddie, Big Al, you know, like, mm-hmm. we were all homies. Just when the rap game jumped off, we was the ones. Mm-hmm. But back to what I'm saying, it's like, before any of that, I got a big cousin named Henry. They know him as Boo. Boo, and C knows a big cousin, Kirby D, which was like the pioneer body boy, Kirby yeah, yeah. D. Yeah, yeah. Got, they was best friends. Yeah. Now, Dez got two big cousins, Derek and Damon. You know what I'm saying Thug. <laughs> we call them Thug. So my big cousin and all they big cousins Went to Woodson together, mm-hmm. you know, went to school together. So, like, when we were at the park and everything, this is how I cut into Node and yeah. cut into mm-hmm. uh, Dez and nothing. Now, we, they little cousins, we playing football, we wrestling, for all doing all that together. So, uh, they actually, <laughs> long time ago we were little, they actually called themselves starting a, uh, a little rap group. That's where BBS really came from, mm-hmm. Botany Base Station <laughs> at Air House. So, you know. That, that didn't last too long, but they main thing was, is why I followed them around, was hooping, man. You know, we wanted to play basketball. And Kirby and David, man, our partner David, I don't, don't want to leave him out. Yeah. He our age, but he was so cold with that ball, like the big dudes would pick him up. Mm. So we would follow Kirby and him, my cousin Boo, to Rose, Rose Elementary to hoop. Lyle Elementary School, hoop in the back of the school, and then Cloverland Park, you know. that's a, Then we done built our little the homemade goals in the dead end. So yeah. it started out with that, man. And that's how, like, the big cousin introduced all the little cousins to each other. You know what I mean? So, you know, and I want to just give a big shout out to my cousin, Boo. Like, he, uh, you know, he never got in the game. He never did nothing. You know, and I think that's a misconception people have that if you wasn't a hustle, you wasn't this, you wasn't real. But this the dude, when I had problems and couldn't handle somebody, mm. that's who I had to go get. So ain't let nobody tell me about, about you not being a hustler, or being none of that real dude. So Kirby older than me, and um, you know he jumped in the game. He doing his thing. You know, you know they got older brothers and older people in their family that was gangsters. You know, doing their thing. So Kirby, when he saw me like coming to the block and shit, he like him him and my cousin best like was best friends. Man, I got pictures of them at graduation together in elementary school. You feel me? So when he see me, he like, man, this is what you gonna do? Hmm. I got you. <laughs> Come on, I got you. So 
from there, it just wasn't no looking back, man. You know, and, and, and he'd go the same cousins, the family, and it just, he just went out there. And, and another thing that I say was a, a powerful element of the Botany Boys being noticed. If you notice, like, young kids, right, if you get five or six young kids that's around each other for four or five years, the, ch the, the child, it's like a love that they're going to have for each other just because they kids and they innocent. Mm -hmm. And I think that by us being so young, that's what it was. It was just a whole, it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about none of that. Because when people saw us, they saw the Botany Boys. The whole team at Cribby would be like, man, we're than having a game, man. I'm up here, Paul, the new Jays out. What y'all, what's up? Mm. You know, he, he gonna make sure we all go and we'll be like, man, just grab me a pair. All right, man, but you, be, you better give me my money when I come to the block, you know what I'm saying? But everything we did, man, I think it was by us being so young and, and like embracing that we gonna do everything together when we pull out, when we step out, we did it together, you know what I'm saying? It was like a genuine love, you know what I'm saying? That we mm. had a brotherhood, you know? Real brotherhood. Real top. And when he say Paul, it's active back then. Yeah, Paul active back then. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. This back in early 90s. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Kirby actually made Paul popular, man. Yeah. Little Kirby, every day, he going to buy a pair of tennis, pair of sweats, t-shirt, and a cap from Paul. Every day. Hmm. Every day, you know. I know mean, that he was open that early in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this one people didn't know too much about it. Yeah, we sit in school because Pop used to uh, like they get anything in there that's black and white because it's all from White Sox to L.A. Kings, anything new, black and white. <laughs> he gonna pay somebody and be like, "Hey, I got this," and like, that's how we walk. How did y'all come up with that? With that whole thing, like shit, we black and white. <clears throat> That's I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real question, about man. it. Okay. Yeah. The first thing was, <laughs> uh, no, Uncle Smudge painted the bins black and white, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, not too long after that, uh, Courtney had got a Riviera. You know what I mean? So you know we would be riding around. He got he put his swingers on it. You know what I'm saying? We'd be riding around, and you know the white inside was the thing then. But like we so little just to have a car, we yeah. used to. So we would always be like, well, you put some white insides in your man. Mm. It'll be, you know. And before you know it, he threw the white in it. Dez came with the 9 8, black and white. Will came with the air dog, black and white. Gator came with the rip, black and white. <laughs> and it was just like. Pappy had the pork. But yeah, Pappy pulled the pork out, black, black and white. white. And it's just, and we just, you know. We had in our mind that, you know, we sitting in white inside, we want white t-shirts, mm -hmm. white caps, <laughs> mm -hmm. black dickies, black guests, man, that just became the thing, man, we did. <laughs> this shit crazy, bro, how y'all was that young just putting that together like that. Man, yeah, I told you, then I, and when we, when we came to the block, I told you we had a system. Yeah. We had a real system, yeah. like, yeah, well, like. <laughs> we take turns. Take turns. Uh, when we get, when we, <laughs> look at this, man, we'll leave the club, three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Niggas trying to stay woke and everything. I'm first when we get to the block. I'm first when we get to the block. Nigga, second, third, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We like, the park slab, grab the strap, uh, get out there, and post up. You know, it's just what it was, man. You know, and it's you know not on no glorifying thing, but it's the truth. This this is how we. This was our mind frame at the time. You know what I mean? But like I say, more than anything, what I feel that made us move the way we move was the youth. Mm. You know, when your kids come up with all the little systems, the little, you know, when you're older, you really don't give a damn. Mm. Man, we just, man, I got some money in my pocket. They gonna love it or hate it. But we were still coming up with little strategies, you know what I mean? Like, you know, how youngsters do, you know? Mm. Yeah. It's big and happening. And like, before the red line, you know what I'm saying? Or any other color line, you know, you had that, that black line. Like, you see a bunch of black cars. Yeah, I already know, like, hmm. I'm, I'm going to tell you who, you who you saw before us, because they was a little older, too, was Q-Dog and Toast, man. Yeah, God yeah, rest yeah. dead Toast, you know what I'm saying? Q-Dog and Toast. I mean, like, back in the day, it was South Acres, Biden, and Hillwood, because we all went to the school together, you know. Not to, not no, no, you know, body or nothing like that, but we were more close because we going to, like I said, Rose Elementary, where we used to go, who? That's in South Acres. Lowell Elementary, that's in Hillwood. 
Cloverland Park is in Cloverland, so a lot of us was real, like, more like close, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, we all had branched out in different areas, too. Like, you know, like, we'll say they moved to Broadway. When I was young, my mama moved into Orleans. <laughs> and uh, this is the funny thing about that, man. And I got some real, man, we got some real homies, you know what I'm saying? The DA click, all this, we can't. But this was way back. I'm probably in the sixth grade i'm probably about 12 going to the sixth grade but hawking island they still they all over there are you, are, you, are you getting to see them and know them around that time at this time hawking was like well hawk was probably like more old than out and about he probably was in middle school going to high school i'm just starting middle school hawk older than me so i knew the the, the names i'm finna name you remember little kevin and roger yeah, and Raven? Yeah. like these I'm are the saying. dudes like these they little homies mm. little black little you black. know um you know, stick one was, you know, a, a peewee. All of them stayed in, in the Orleans or was in the Orleans playing football. I stayed in the very back by the 12-foot pool. <laughs> and this was the crazy thing. And when I was in the sixth grade, it used to, it was a beef between Wilson Middle School and Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> And I leave Woodson every day. I gotta go to the Orleans. <laughs> hey, boy, I'll tell you, like, man, man. Uh, I lived in, you know, in the very back. Man, Hillman and Melvin lived right across from me. Miss Cat and Junior, they lived downstairs. Junior and Angie, like, a lot of dead end people. Like, I bet, I bet somebody from dead end hear me saying this is gonna be like, man, you know. But you know, we moved. Uh, by the time I got like in the seventh grade, eighth grade, you know. I, my, both of my grandmothers lived in Cloverland. One of them lived on Botany, and one of them lived on Myrie, which is the street. If you coming down Cullen and say entering Cloverland, that's the street, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you know how your family be going through things. They move out, move back, move out, move back, and you know, you know and um, and I, you know, I came back to the neighborhood, and shit, you know, we just got it on from there. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> is there, is there is, uh, like a Botany boy screw tape with all y'all on there? Yeah. Yeah. Back in the back lab. Back in the lab. Back in the lab. Yeah, yeah, back, back in the lab. Back in the lab. Other than that one, like earlier than that. I mean, not in the shop. Not not the one you can go purchase. Yeah. Because it was so there was early. like hour tapes. Hours, you know what I'm saying? And the reason that we don't have that many tapes in the screw shop that's you know the dubs that's being sold, screw mixes, is because during the time when screw started dubbing, like he was still making his taste with like your personal tape. He'll ask you like, man, can I dub it and sell it? You know what I'm saying? But then around that time, like '94, we're like nine, like mid '90s. He was just you know start dubbing all the mixes he do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then by that time. We in the studio, we doing real songs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then, but you had like Pat, uh, Pat, Key, still going to school. How that's why that's why Pat and Key like on a lot of school tapes. You know what I'm saying? Because they was doing a lot of freestyle at school house. But by that time, we was in the studio making real songs. You know? Yeah. Because like before, man, if I tell you, if we had every tape that we man, made with school, man, it's like almost like we got burnt out because it was yeah. like this, like giving props to Q Dog and OD again. The first time I heard a screw tape was Quincy from my South Acres. That's the first time I heard a screw tape. So Screw's name, you know, was kind of starting to ring. And on the flip side, Screw probably hearing about the Botany Boys. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey man, how we get a screw tape? You know what I'm saying? So when we finally met Screw, finally pulled up at Screw House, it was just like a mutual re respect. You know what I mean? Like, I done heard of y'all, and we coming to buy a tape from you. So, you mm. know, so, uh, you know, we would get tapes made, and uh, he would, he would, I'm in here with the Botany Boys, that will, so and so like that. Then it got to a point where he would even be like, yo, I'm in here with Botany, man. Go on, holler at him, Will, and yeah. Will to talk, this, that, and the other. So, I remember this like yesterday. <laughs> it was D Baby, God rest the dead. David, my partner Rabbit again, and Courtney. They went to Screw House. So they say uh, one of them, you know, how Screw talking on the tape, one of them had asked Screw, like, say, man, the way you 
the way you talking on there, man, and that instrumental playing, man, we, we, we could rap or something, huh? And from out of stand screw, like, shit, I don't see why not, you mm -hmm. know? Now, this is before anybody rapped on a screw tape. This is when he just was talking, you know what I mean? And, and he'll let you talk. And, man, when I tell you, we pulled up on body. I think I'm riding with Dez, C-Note, uh, D-Baby, and um, Rabbit. They right there. So we pull up. So they like, yeah, nigga, we on a screw tape. I'm like, yeah, we always on. He like, nah, we rapping. Man, get out of here. And they on the bitches ain't shit, but bitches ain't shit, but <laughs> And these boys come on rapping. I'm talking about threw us for a loop. Hmm. We immediately set up. <laughs> so it was kind of like whoever you went so at the, the time. So the first one was the bitches ain't shit for your time. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was the instrumental. Yeah. And when you're talking like D-Bay and Rab, like, they biting that boy, but they don't rap. You they know what I'm saying? They not rap. And they, they just... rapped on the screw tape before me, you know? <laughs> Yep. Yeah, you know, even though it's me. So, so yeah. when you go there, who do you, who do you, who do you? Me, go with? me and Dez was, was too weak, too, too deep. And when we heard that, we trying to chase screw, trying to get, get in there. So yeah, do you go before? You still make it before Lynn? Yeah, still you, make, yeah, everybody yeah. make it before I, you. Yeah. Oh, this well, is like a week's well, time though. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> like <laughs> once, once yeah, everybody like, hearing it, <laughs> they, they going boom, yeah. boom, boom, back to back. You know, because once, because it probably yeah. been, been nice. Oh man, uh, that's how it was. So. Man, we was a click, but whoever probably stayed on the block with you that night or rode around in the hood hustle with you, that's who you're going to be with the next day. Right on. Until we all <laughs> just probably be Could on the block. Up. Yeah, yeah, or until yeah. we go link up somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. once I done heard this one, and these boys done went so, man, we, uh -uh, I need to go back. I need to go, go over there. So yeah. oh, this is like... <laughs> Within a week. Within a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And Pat, Pat, like, yeah, I think, like, Pat, um, him and Core. Yeah, you know. Right, I'm talking about, like, it was like a domino effect. Yeah, it ain't one, yeah, like, no yeah. weeks or months. It was like, shit, days. Niggas yeah, just trying they, to. They just, oh, they did it. You pull up, we pull uh -huh. up the Caro Jam and us rapping. Hold on. Yeah. That's yeah. a screw, y'all on. Okay. Bam. And it's just kind of like, it just took off like wildfire. But, gotta keep it real with you. Man, we couldn't rap work for shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Man, we riding around. This is what really made us start. Really, I don't know if you remember, but uh, he was talking about our OG Ant. OG Ant had, uh, he had got in some trouble. He knew he was finna go do a little time or whatever. But uh, this is when Spice One was out. And we little dudes on the block hustling. And he pulled up. He jamming Spice. He like, you like that? Like, yeah, that nigga hard. He said, man, they're talking about the same thing we do. You can do that. You know what I'm saying? And he called this a rap, you know what I'm saying? So when he ended up getting locked up or whatever, we would play with it. So the first song was uh what really made us try to freestyle or whatever was uh Oh shit, I'm about to warm it up. I got the gin and juice mm -hmm. and I'ma pour my cup to get smooth with the mood that I'm in. That shit to ride to. Mm -hmm. What made us rap to it was when that song went off, the yeah. instrumental came right on right behind it. Mm -hmm. And like I say, we couldn't rap words yet. If, yeah. if you got two rhyming lines out, everybody, oh! <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh! Yeah. So it was motivating each other until we just got to a point where we could rap a few bars, yeah. keep going, keep going. So we had just, just kept doing it so much to where it was a point in time, man, when you pull up on somebody, Instead of holding a real conversation, I'm rapping to you, freestyling you, freestyling to me. We just got so used to doing it. And then, uh, so when we got the screw house, like I say, we got the screw house, uh, we just did what we was riding around doing every day, man. Just came mm -hmm. out. We ain't had a skill set or nothing like that. We just talked about reality, you know what I'm saying? What we was doing every day. It was just, and that's the thing about the botany, the screw. It wasn't like, a person coming into it saying, oh, I'm a jam screw, I'm gonna get a screw. This was organic. We didn't even know this was about to take place the way it took place. We were just part of it just happening, you know what I'm saying? Just like an organic movement, you know what I mean? And that was just like, that's the real part about it to me, man. That's something that can't be taken away from you. I don't care if they know you as a star or not. Mm. You know you was a part of something that's as powerful as the DJ screw movement. Man, it's an honor, man. Yeah. Like, me and Screw was an honor because he really told us after a while, he can hear he can hear in our raps, we speaking what we living. He was like, man, y'all tripping. Like, 
y'all really saying something in, that, in what y'all saying, man. Y'all really, and people know y'all. Y'all need to do an album, man. Hmm. But you know, we in the streets, we just like, that was a hobby. So Screw suggested that y'all do the album. Yes. Yeah, you like, man, I might well do that. Y'all, man, man, people know y'all. Y'all come in here, you know, once we kind of got good at it, y'all come in and rick the Screw tapes, man. You know, like, man, y'all need to do something for real, man. Yeah, y'all need to take it yeah. serious. Yeah, man, and that's just how it went. Yep, and yep. then, like I say, that nine four hit. I'm fucking around with that freak nigga. Okay, man, we really want to rap then. Like, <laughs> that just fucked us up. Like, hey, we're going to be some rappers. Fuck it. Yeah. And then, like, shit, like I say, the first song we recorded was Smoking and Lena. Smoking and Lena. Smoking and Lena, like, man. Talk about that, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, Fresh. It was, we recorded that at Fresh. At, uh, yeah, Fresh J2 Studios. J2 Recording Studio. Yeah. yeah. Uh, J2 Fresh. You, ever, you heard of Fresh? Uh huh. Yeah, with the dreads, he had a um, his studio was um, right there on Canterbury, mm-hmm. and um, Alameda Genoa. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 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 yeah. Next time, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the mm-hmm. got this studio like a while after that. Him mm-hmm. and um, Grum, but yeah, that was, and he was like reasonable, and he was just like, see, those we was young and really coaching. Was, um, he was coaching, you know, yeah. He was showing us the ropes and everything. Yeah, so. Um, and seeing we were serious, because like I say, back then you had to be serious or you just going to waste some money, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it cost it a lot to record, you know. Yeah, yeah man. So, yeah, that, that first smoking and leaning. Yeah, then that's my red came with the track. How y'all yeah. boy, talk about just even getting introduced to that whole just the drinking all that, you know what I'm saying? Man, this like, I ain't going to even lie. Like, my name was Lean, man. But, shit, I, um, Pat and C, like... <laughs> They drunk drink before me, you know, they only mm. check drink drink, but man, I'm gonna tell it, you why I think turn the soul out on that Aline, man. Aline, yeah, Aline. Yeah, I'm from Dead yeah. Yeah, man. God rest his soul. Aline, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the first time I ever taste some drink. But it, with Aline, but yeah. We thought we were doing something new, <laughs> but this something yeah. our parents been doing, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah. my auntie said she told she like, man, man, her and my mama made a pack talking about if he get up to um six dollars for a little eight bottles, you know you can just buy it off the shelf. Mm-hmm. Cause they, cause they used to pull that shit and um Pepsi and shit. You know what I'm saying, John? You know, but that was way. But I remember the first day I come, I had a a pain. I come to my granny house and I'm fucking with my dad. Like you don't know nothing about this. You don't know nothing about this. So uh, my uncle, my uncle Howard, Creasy. Dad, he was the so he like boy, give me that, give me that, see what that is. So he just took the body, turned it upside down, and he like charged, boy, they showed it, d- diluted this shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I was then, I was like, what? He like, yeah, man, they used to have a, a silver cap on it, and he used to twist the cap like something like a um, like a champagne. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's, I know you talking about yeah. Mm-hmm. And when you twist that hole, you say, yeah, that bitch pop. You know what I'm saying? But say he's like, damn, that shit was so thick. Like, he had a little high ketchup bottle or something. That's how he said that shit was. Yeah. yeah. And that was, you know, my my uncle, my dad, you know, that was my, my auntie husband. And, you know, my dad, you know, like I say, you know, he been doing music forever. You know, one of the um, first groups out of Houston to go platinum, you know. Hmm. Archie Bell and the Dreads. Dreads, you know. Wait, 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 who is that? Archibald in the drills? Yeah. Yeah, my That's dad was pop. one was one of the drills. No shit. Yeah, it went platinum. Wait a minute, bro. Wait a yeah. minute, fool. Wait, 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 wait. You ever wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What? Hold on, I'm finna mess you up. Yeah. You ever heard our song? I'm just a G. G yeah. yeah. That's Uncle Charles. That's my dad. Oh <laughs> <That's laughs> shit. Yeah. 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 Archie Bell. Bro, yeah. are you fucking serious? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I and like when my old man passed, that's a trip. My old man passed, you know, Skipper Lee. Skipper Lee, yeah. You know, they was this he. So when my old man passed, like he, you know, because him and my dad is still so tight, and um, he just like you know, I want to do the service, you know what I'm saying? Just that, and um, doing the the wake, like Pappy, um, Diana Courtney, come downstairs. He like, man, you go upstairs, Skip Lee. 
man, go look at the pictures, man, or some shit. I ain't never seen with your dad and that man shit, man, these boys. Tommy guns and fuck. All right. All up, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, but yeah, you know, that that was like a little um when we started, you know, to show us like how to get our DBA, you know, copyright our music. Uh, get our publishing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember yeah. you said that last time, but you didn't say that your dad was down with Roger Bell. <laughs> See, that's a whole nother, that's yeah, a trip, man. bro. Tighten up, that was yeah, basically all man. Classic, yeah, I yeah, know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, yo. Yeah. And he kept, like, man, from the Turning Point, King Leo, speak, man. My old man had a show every night. <laughs> he, <laughs> he kept his music in his, like, he had a whole sound system, uh, mic, um, speakers, um, mix. Man, yo, he... So you really been around this for real your whole yeah. life. Just and when look, when I was um, five years old, before I went went to law, I went to um, to Frost, right there um, in the dead end of Selinski. Now we stayed in Orleans when they was brand spanking new. Hmm. The pool, he talking about the 12 inch pool? Okay. Olympic size yeah. swimming pool. We stayed in the back on the first floor. And like, it was, the back had like three. And my dad had a, a recording studio in the house. Hmm. Yeah. And me being young, I know we stayed there because, you know, you can remember things at five years old, but, you know, I'm the youngest out of all my first cousins. So, my other cousins would be like, you know, I'm like, man, yo, man, at the studio and nothing, man, like, yeah, y'all, the real, the real, in the crib, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's crazy. You got big and crease blowing. Yeah, and smoking and leaning, that's my, <laughs> that, that's big. and my first cousin is singing that, smoke. Hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, um, they making cash forever with, yeah. um. Gator and ESG, mm-hmm. 30 ESG, mm-hmm. that and and make some cash with Big Mo Fitcher and Big Mo. That's my yeah. other fur cousin, that's my uh, that's big sister, yeah. Hmm. That's how they sing on Flip, I Just Want to Be Me. Hmm. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So, oh, shit. Yeah, man. Man, y'all kind of just trip me out just now, man. Damn, okay, so y'all do smoking and leaning, and then after that? We did, um... Okay, after that, that is this ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. Um, you ain't on the song. I, I, I made the track. Huh? I just made. Just I made y'all the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like M.I.A. ever since then. Yeah. So <laughs> now, since we done put these this track on this reel, you know it ain't digital. You can't just go back and and make a song from five people rapping on it. To folk because I already formatted on the real as five people. That's how we like. Well, yeah. head gone. We already put the fill verse on that for Gator. Yeah, I mean that that they yeah, that fill verse. But yeah. since you love, that's how his little brother Third got on the song. Hmm. You know it. Gator and Third. Gator and Third. You know what I'm saying? So it was like they introduction to the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By, By the BG. Mm. You know, so yeah, oh, ain't nothing changed. And then after that, like then there was more songs that he couldn't complete. And you know, since because you know, Dirty, you got with Dirty, Dirty was doing the beats. So okay, okay, now Dirty went ahead and filled them other songs that he had come rap on. You know. So yeah, got caught up. This is what got caught up hustling or something. Yeah, yeah, song yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. so. If that wouldn't have transpired, you know, I don't know if Dirty would have had the story would have been rapping, you know, it wouldn't have been on that EP, you know what I'm saying, probably the the next right. album, you know what I'm saying, because we had already formatted some songs for us four. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah. Hmm. You know, that's why he not on the Smoking and Leaning album cover. So, like, damn. Damn, yeah. man. <laughs> and like, it was just timing, man, timing. Then he come home, boom. We back in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Recording. Did you ever feel like, man, I'm missing? Like, these boys are here doing it, man. Yeah. Well, kind of, sort of, but in the, 
I was really just still happy that it was actually doing something. Because like I say, when you know, Screw was telling us that, you know, we, we had the hustle of my frame. But that was a hobby to us. So to hear that we got a record in a store, mm. I mean, I wasn't tripping. I mean, yeah, I'm mad I'm not there, I'm locked up or whatever, but just to know, man, my boys out there doing it, man, you know, yeah, it felt good, you know what I mean? It felt good. Because even, even like the thought of many ways, the song, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was at the halfway house. You know, like, Dead's and, uh, and Head ain't there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We could have picked another song to shoot a video for, but we we can't leave, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta. Yeah, I wasn't messing with Thought of Many Ways like that? Yeah, we was messing with it, but we could have went and did, not say a whole nother song to that, or we could have did another song well. Everybody on it. Everybody on it, you know what I'm saying? But, like, even though they're not here, he still got a real for them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So that's why on my on my verse, uh, they pretty much acted. Yeah. They they acted what I was saying I, on my verse on the video, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, when Thought of Many Ways, I was uh, I was at a halfway house finna get out, and uh, so you know they had pulled up with a, with a cassette. Like this, the beat right here, man. This, the, this the new stuff we finna work on, man. We, this one thought of many ways and kind of just sunk it to me and everything. So uh, I took it. I went back in there, threw it on my little old radio, and I wrote my verse. So I would get passes where you know you get out, work, mm -hmm. go home on the weekend. And uh, on one of my passes, they came and picked me up. Went to the studio. I went and laid laid that uh that verse on thought of many ways. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then shortly after I got out, this is when Dez had got, he was in, he had got out, he was out on bun, he had a monotone on his leg. So pretty much the rest of the Thought of Many Ways album, I'm fresh out, my boy about to go, so every day I'm going over there, you know, he got a bend, so, <laughs> but we got the pen and pad out, man, we, just, we just going, me and Dez, like, we, we would, me and him, like, used to write together a lot, you know mm. what I mean? But I think, you know what I'm saying, like, being in and out, man, just, it did kind of like put a put a dent in you know the, the growth and the movement. But um, like I say, overall, man, I was just happy that we actually was putting good music out that people liked it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Screw pushing us, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was live. Man. Yeah, this was cool. Like, and I, man, like I, it had been a while. Like some months ago, I you know you just listen to your old music, man, and and they like thought him in a way because it was a double CD, and like we you know we was the first group artist from Texas to even drop a double CD, independent. Hmm. Hmm. Independent. Thought him anyways was what ninety seven. Yeah. Huh? No, I thought ninety. It came out ninety seven. Came out ninety seven. Yeah, we recorded about. Nine, six, nine, six, nine, six, nine, six, nine, yeah, yeah. That was, that was before, even then, that was even before my homies. Yeah, that was before my homies, yeah. Yeah, that was way before, no. Yeah. My homies, because Pac had, yeah, Pac had already passed. My homies was like 98, yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah, that was way before them. And I listened to the songs we did on them, man. Like, um, Legalized Straps, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Got Cornell on there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talking, and... We was talking about something that just happened September 1st, you know? The Texas legalizing straps, you know what I'm saying? It was a, a one of them conscious songs that we probably would know we're going to never, ever see the daylight of radio. Mm. But then I listened to it today, and like, man, we crazy. Like, we been <laughs> talking about going to River Oaks and, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask y'all that if you look back and be like, damn, like we kind of wild on some of that shit. Yeah. Now, boy. Yeah. Oh, man, he, oh, like he said it. He's oh, he man. said it all. <laughs> he said, oh, like you know that, but yeah, that was real. you know that showed like at the point at that point in time, like man, we really was so ahead. You know what I'm saying? We really was just so much ahead, like before our time, man. Just when you say. A trendsetter, you know, that love that he was talking about earlier, like that genuine brother, brotherly love, like even outside cliques, neighborhood, 
they seen it, you know what I'm saying? That was made us stand out because you got a group of young dudes, and not even just ain't about the rap, just got a group and it's just so much love. Yeah. We ain't give man, we ain't give a fuck about none of that material shit. Them cars, none of that. Man, none of that. You, like you I, get the keys so man. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody just Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. You know, it wasn't man wasn't about none of that. Cause you know, at the end of the day, like and it wasn't no lying either, like I mean, here, who call you in here? You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. just, nah, we just ain't. You know that? I, shit, I got the keys. I want, want to be on one on the block. Yeah, I go to the club. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you just do that. You just do that, man. You know, so. Yeah, I was out there so much. How how much did you say, like, back then on the average day? You know what I'm saying? Because y'all talk about, like, remember C Note here, he was saying, like, you know, like the million dollar block, like how he was oh, yeah, just was jumping like that. 24-7. That jump. Man, that live. Man, man, this it was <laughs> nonstop. Like and then, you know, he he might not have gone, so even hey, if I that's get why up I'm the one was gone most of the time, man. Yeah. Man, mm-hmm. you ask anybody when they pass it. through there, uh-huh. three o'clock, twelve in it, whenever I was the one out there. First on the block, last one to be, like out hey. there all the time. See it's like yeah. you know, it's just like a lot of things, you know, you know, I'm the oldest of four. You know what I'm saying family going through things, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have a lot of the luxuries some you know others had. So that was really my escape, you know what I'm saying? And then knowing my little brother still going through it, so it would be like, let me go and get my bag up, go take little bro school shop or whatever, you know what I mean? And you know, a lot of people might just say, oh man, he stayed locked up, but there was a lot going on, you know what I mean? So you know, I had to hug that block like that. Mm. And, the, and the one that's out there the most, the one gonna get faded the most, mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I got faded a lot, man, so. Just what, like undercovers coming through there, or what? Uh, just regular. You know, foot chases, foot just chases, all yeah. kinds, just, See, you know, that's, everything. That's why I say we had a system where we cut it out the, the under, like, you know, if they come, we gonna see them a mile away. Yeah. See, we had the type of laws that get out on the next street. Oh, man, they were so sick of us, man. They'll creep their car up on the next street. Or they'll pull up behind the house, get out, they'll let one out, and uh-huh. then hit the block. So when we take off, he in the back, yeah. <laughs> we'll knock one of them down. Yeah. They try. I took the bear that boy done. I took the bear. Boy, 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 by the grace of God, my boy the, here, man. They try to set him up. Him and D, baby. Rest in peace. Who's out there? Red, red head, you and Ziggy. Me, Ziggy, and D, and they playing. And I'm like, to my partner Ziggy once, he said, like, he want to play. He ain't got no more work, he just want to play. I said, man, y'all, I said, you know, back then, them brakes was alarm. Them brakes. I just see the blue part of that car, I'm gone. So they sitting between Terrence and the body, just like watching, like us hit the gates going this way. They done already lit. Yep. Red head out down. So when they hit the back street, I come back on on Biden, run back that way because they on this street. But red head, I got the car. I'm out running, man. But ten meter, they kept that little ten meter block. Really that nigga tried to boy, clear it turned me. Turned around and, and I did like that. Touched the barrel, the boy gun, and boy just fell. I kept going, but Dane ended up stopping. I yeah, said, he, when he fell down, he lined up on Dane like you, you know you. We were gone. And guess the other thing we did? Like, we was all young, we black, so we all cut our hair off. <laughs> no, we, we everybody was there. Support. <laughs> everybody had no hair, everybody bald head. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah man. We, uh, remember when we would say, is it right to label botany as a game? Clover Landis, when we were young, we had the botany, our hats had botany on them, you know what mm. I'm saying? Botany, big shots, and it'll have our name on the back. So one day, man, the laws come through, <laughs> lay us all out, take our hats, take pictures of us, and label us gang, gang yeah, task the, the, When they first exactly. started, we the first ones they labeled as a gang, you yeah. know? Yes, no, gang sure. task force. We'll yeah. put it in the song. Yeah, because yeah. we <laughs> way on, man, we in McDonald's drive through on Hillcroft from Brazenwood. You know what I'm saying? It's like 92, we and Gator, it's me, Gator, Pappy, and c no, We in the drive-through. We in Gator River. Art and food, it's like 10 in the morning. The Lyles pull through the parking lot, see us, get behind us in the drive-through. 
pull us over in the drive through like <laughs> yeah. So ain't nobody got no license. You know what I'm saying? So he called. No, it's not that. Seen the uncle on some other Gator daddy, call him, he come up there, Gator, juvenile, you know what I'm saying? They take us to um to a substation on Bis on Beach Man, I'm talking about I ain't never seen this. But on the way there they wrote us some tickets and took us to jail for the tickets they just wrote us. <laughs> no ID, no license. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Man. On the way there, so you know you got Braidswood, but then to the left you got South Braidswood. Man, we riding, me pepping. We on the south side, we pepping Courtney, so we riding in the back seat of the lock car. We just hear something come over the radio. Uh, or or then the biting it boys. He was like, yeah. Y'all remember? So we pulled over right on, it was an old gas station on Rice in South Braidswood, like by Knob Hill Apartments. Maybe we pulled over at this gas station to the back of that motherfucker. So I'm like, man, what the fuck they finna do to us? <laughs> Boom. On my car pulled up. What y'all doing on the southwest side? Gang task for us. Yeah. Huh? Who we? Man, for real? Yeah, and then the motherfucker took We had the money in our pocket to get out. But they like, yeah, we got swift change, shift change. It's gonna take y'all about four hours. I can stay up four hours. Yeah, man, just on some dry bullshit. But yeah, man, yeah, it was serious back then. But the we was, was the block, man. Yeah, the block that's was the block. Like block was it got block. to the point where it became like a strip, man. And I'm talking about just a corner in in this neighborhood. If you see Biden, you'd be like, people found here to do. And yeah. I'm talking about females coming up and down. Somebody come out the paint shop. They got to come. <laughs> Come show us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It became yeah. like the you know the spot, man. You know, but it was just like I said, a lot of things just out of respect, man. Yeah, like yeah. dudes, we gave us respect. And respect. We I'm talking about we ain't, you know. ain't never had no kind of ain't nothing. If it wasn't us, ain't nobody come through biting and tripping. Hmm. Remember, uh, uh, we been at twin house on Terrence. Mm -hmm. Couldn't even jam your music. Like if you want one of us, you couldn't come down the street. We tried to. Having well to keep the less attention on us at that young age, like we know we ain't want no attention from them, yeah. the neighbors to give them a reason to call. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the only person we used to let come down banging their music was Pat. You remember Pat at, with the park when he was in the park? Yeah, cause you know we getting a little smoke from him. Yeah. The green. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Park, the green. Yeah. So be his knocking. Yeah, so it was so to the point of ain't nobody want to go out there and get it. So it would be like, who turn to go? Because <laughs> like, as soon as you walk out the trap, the lot why hit the car. Oh, man, yeah. I'm with another day. There's no time to go out there, man. Get it like, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but we was young, like, man, and we just had a system, man. We had a system, man. You know, we tried to be careful on our points, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then, uh, man, talk about the forever body. Well, you, did you miss forever body? Uh, I actually recorded for Elvin Bodney and got, I got locked up right after um, my solo. Yeah. Imagine, Imagine that. that. Yeah. I, I, um, I was out on bond. I had to turn myself in the day after that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So like every album, yeah. once we finish, my nigga down. Oh, yeah. Uh, put in the work. Put in the work. The benefits. Mm. <laughs> but I, I, one thing I like to... Uh, the, the thing about it, I liked it, the creativity in the Forever Biden album, but the one thing that crushed us, man, that's when we lost Gator, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what crushed us, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it was like, because, you know, after Thought of Many Ways, uh, uh, C No dropped his project, and Forever Biden was just kind of like us back together again, you know? So, we had probably like, Half the hooks of the whole, whole yeah. album. <laughs> I think Will, you had did a little sit down or something for for yeah. a few months or something. Yeah. And we were like, man, shit, I got this, this, and this. I've been writing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember we we came, got you, man. You, mm -hmm. you spit like mud. I said, man, we got to do that. Body is the block, the spot that stay crunk. <laughs> Where niggas pack heat full deep and straight dump. Mm -hmm. Third coast born, so we break them and take chunks. Affiliated figures, gorillas, the spray pumps. <laughs> yeah, I said, yeah. We gotta do that. That's <laughs> one. You know what I'm so yeah, you know it was it was 
it was cool mm-hmm. putting that album together. And like man, um, and most of it was like it was, it was, you know, it was fun to us. You know what I'm saying? Like we we took it serious, but we could have took it more serious than we took it because we was in the game. In the game, man. you know what I'm saying? So you, you were so, it wasn't no hobby to us, but it was fun to us. And we. You know, we knew it could be this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I feel like if we would just been just straight, strictly, strictly focused, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we. And then, too, you know, like, that. you know, in the game, it ain't always good. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you be going through rough patches, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, man, am I going to get this money to pay this bill or I'm going to fade this studio? So, it's mm-hmm. kind of, it's a, you know, you run into all kind of things out there. It's real life. It ain't just rapping it's all good it's like, nah man you know we really coming from the trenches with it man you know really trying to survive off the streets man and you know the streets ain't nothing promise mm. you know what I'm saying? ain't nothing promise man i think if we just really could have got an understanding of we were really talented enough to just make it in music if we really had that in our head man we could have did a lot better man but we just we, we pretty much put the game first you know what i'm saying mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what it sounds like. I mean, them Biden boys about that bread, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah, man. It's it, it's it been a, it been a journey, man. And you know, at the end of the day, man, it's 2021, man, we still here. You know, alive and free, and you know, still pushing, and you know, got businesses, and you know, and yeah, been to put a new project together too. So. That's in the making yeah. like that's that's yeah. most definitely. And you know, like I was saying in the beginning, man, you know, sitting down, you know, a few of the times, you know, them little bumps across the head just make you want to come back and get it more. But you know, this time I was gone, you know, I was gone like thirteen years and eight months, man. You know, I lost my baby brother. You know, lost a lot put it like this, you know, we can make our mind up to say, Oh, I got this, I'm good. And you be willing to take all your, you know, consequences, whatever come. But sometimes we don't know what them consequences gonna be. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I just feel like sometimes it just take the right one to really make you open your eyes. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, like, when you asked earlier, man, where I'm at now is just for as knowing a purpose in life. I love the music. You know what I mean? We we all like we all got a business. I got a trucking company. The pressure watch. We all doing different things. But for the most part, I feel like I had to find a purpose. And I just feel like my purpose, man, is to be somebody that a younger brother can look up to and learn from Hmm. or can follow, you know what I'm saying, without no consequences. So this time, like with the music, with everything we're doing, like, you know, I I have off the chain entertainment, me and my brother Third. You know, Third coming with an album. Third, man. Yeah, 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 little Hmm. Third, so. And then we got little cousins, my little cousin, little Henry, a.k.a. Hasty, YK Garrow, uh, Young Boss Paolo, Wide Men. Like, we working with them, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, they talented. Mm. But more than them just being talented and going out here and get this bag, we got to teach them how to be men, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's why I'm at with it, you know, just like a whole different direction with it, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 for sure. <clears throat> man, we gonna do one with uh with everybody, you know what I'm saying? There's some stuff I'm gonna hold off on to get everybody here, but yeah, yeah. man, I yeah. appreciate y'all boys coming through, man. I appreciate I'm you, man. appreciate you having real, us, man. Real, man. For sure, you know for sure. I enjoyed yeah. it. They just hit me, man. A couple of minutes up the street, so you know we gonna we know we come back. We gonna everybody gonna get everybody the whole click, you know what I'm saying? But right on. At least you top it up with them when you get there, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Man, so. That's what it is, man. That's what it's always gonna be, Phil for Biden, man. Already, already. Donnie Houston, boy, you doing it big, man. Man, I appreciate it, man. Here, man. Real talk. You know what, man? We, to hear that from people like y'all, it's like, man, shit, y'all the foundation, bro. Like I said, it's just I'm just documenting the culture, bro. Like y'all laid the y'all laid it down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. but gotta respect the work. Yeah. Took work to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Respect that, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man and um, uh, like, um, uh, even ESG, like, it's um, little partner named Jr. And you know, he came down here. You know, he 
He would not need, you know, little you know, snapper, had the glasses on. So, like I gotta say, we hustling like on Biden, and we'll go to the park late night, just probably smoke, park our cars on the court and shit. And um, one of them nights, he brought his G up there. Mm. So he looking at us like, just like, like man, dog, you little niggas, man, get the fuck out of me. He got the cars on the Because he is a few years older than y'all, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so, and uh, this one, he first came to Houston, well, on that side of town, you know what I'm saying? So he got out. Who was that? I think 380 was telling me he, he was just somebody was taking him around. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. JR, yeah. JR, yeah. JR yeah. brought him so, to the hood, man. You know, and then. could rap, though. Did. Yeah, he, he got out, started rapping about swingers, looking freestyle. And I talked, like, damn, how you doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? You could tell, like, I'm going to say this out of the screwed up clique, like, most of us, from Pat to Pope, all of us kind of learned how to rap, with, you know, going to school. But Key and ESG went in there ready. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They were, they already yeah. was cocked and loaded. They already had their mindset on, oh, I'm going to be a rapper. <laughs> hmm. and yeah, man, hmm. so big props out to them boys. Yeah. I remember, uh, like I told you, when Screw told us, like, told you, like, man, y'all need to do something. I remember I was on the block one night and E pulled up. And uh, he was like, man, this for he did uh, swanking and banging. He like, man, I'm finna do some real music, man. I'm finna put something out for real. He like, man, people know me from Rick and the Screw tapes and everything. People know Biden boy. He's like, man, we might, we need to might do something together, <laughs> like come mm -hmm. out together. Yeah. So like I told you, we so caught up in the streets. I say, man, look, I was one deep out there. I say, man, I'm gonna run it by the fellas, man. I'm gonna holler because you know it ain't just no choice one of us gonna yeah. make. And you know, I, I mentioned I ran it by no, ran it by this, and everybody kind of was like, they're live. Yeah. But they grind, man. <laughs> they grind just. But once he put that swing and banging out, you know what I'm saying? Because he had Gator River in the video mm -hmm. and everything. Like, he, he, man, you know, we connect, we, we all united. And after he put it out, it was just really more fuel to just be like, man, let's go on and do it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and, yep. We mm -hmm. came right behind him. Man. Yep. And, and he'll tell you, man. I, he like, man, he be like, yeah, man, Will took me to screw I took him to screw eyes. He first met screw He would tell you that. Uh, you yeah. took years to screw yeah. yeah. Was this when he brought the record over there, or this was before that? Nah, this, no, this one, it's still introduce, yeah, yeah, introduce yeah. him to screw like, yeah. This is when he bring the record over there. I did this song, Swing and Bang and all that. This nah, was time. This, this was before he dropped the record, huh? When he yeah. just went to freestyle. Yeah, this was before Swing and Bang came out. Yeah, he like, still wasn't, you know. It wasn't see, people usually tell the story about, like, screw, like, meeting ESG, like, him bringing him the song, like, check out my song. You saying you brought him that before Swing and Bang. Yeah, because he, he, he'll tell you, like, you know, screw was like, ain't never heard the song Swinging and Banging. You know what I'm saying? But never heard his name in a song. You know what I'm saying? But when Screw said his name in a song, you know what I'm saying? So don't misquote me on that. But um, then, you know, ask ESG yourself. I took him to school out. Yeah, man. Yeah. Is it anybody else that you took over there for the first time? Like, yeah, I took this person over there. No, that just, just, he okay. probably would be some little youngsters or something, but like, hmm. Besides that now, yeah, cousin, yeah, my cousin, too. Yeah, I told you, yeah, about five, yeah, my kinfolk man from the north. From the north, man. Yeah, like, yeah. We went to screw out me and Will. Yeah. We bumped into JR and them then. Yeah, we bumped into the JR and them over there yeah. then. Um, yeah. yeah. JR, yeah, we went in there and did a whole free, freestyle, both sides of the whole tape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, it's, man, it's a. A lot, a lot of history, man. A lot of really? the first. You want to know what the first screwed up click show was? Hmm. And I just got the screwed up because it's the first show we ever did in life it was in Alexander, Louisiana. Oh yeah. Pratt from my um, Pratt the Cat. Pratt the Cat. Rest in peace. He had paid school to come out there and GJ, but school wasn't going if we wouldn't go with me, man. Y'all go, man. I ain't going. So we had just, you know, had the EP, the um, smoking and leaning, had the little, it was not, but we had some, you know, the songs recorded. So, shit, man, we went out there, we all went out there in the trucks, mashed out there, went out there with the, with the pistols there, with the cave, 
And then we got in that over. Yeah, that would fuck us up. We thought we was NWS, so we ain't <laughs> never performed in our life. <laughs> <laughs> we getting on them up, putting on the places back. Man, tripping. Yeah, I was like, damn, this shit. This shit could be oh, for real. Sure. Yeah, that's yeah. that. Now, that was a feeling like, yeah. you know how you say, like, man, I'm gone. And that remind you, I'm gone yeah, he, when, when the music hit. So imagine me coming home, getting on stage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, for real? Like, well, y'all, okay. Yeah. I, I, I can get used to this, you know what I <laughs> mean? I'm like, okay, man. Like, the first one that I remember, uh, the botany did it was with uh i want to say street military at stadium bowl stadium bowl yeah that's when i first yeah. came home we did one of state stadium bowl street military yeah, mm. yeah. Yep. props out to them boys too oh stadium bowl man we even had a like lot of motivation from rappers too man like screw had us on we was on a lot of bay area music man you know uh you know he kept us on that mjg and eight ball and um, but street military, time them boys stayed in the deck. They stayed in the deck. <laughs> they stayed. We just jammed them like the boy, like. Yeah, they yeah. stayed in the deck. And um, the little homies, Copper Toe Conspiracy, baby. Oh yeah. He's done shit like them boys, man. man. Dez put us on Copper Tone. That was a uh, poopy, pooping yeah. them out of Blue Ridge, man. Mm-hmm. Them boys were hard, man. But what motivated us about them was because they was like local you know what i mean they was really yeah. local and it was made you know people jamming them so you know that was kind of like okay okay and it was just that support people had for mm. each other like that, that really was trying to step out there and do something so yeah we jammed them boys man yeah oh. and, and um i'm gonna say yeah and then like even from um i don't know if i told you that down there but yeah outcast man yeah man we screw put them on out there you did what now? He put them on like in Houston. When we went to the Freak League, me and me and me and Dez, we walking back towards. Look, man, we was out there. We both went to some park. Man, ain't never see the park. Man, we stayed on this man, so long, <laughs> man. I'm like, man, I done got out the truck when they ordered a hot dog. Stood in line, walked back to the truck. Man, look at that. I say, man, me and Dad say, I say, man, come on, let's walk. We walk back to the hotel. <laughs> and on the way back, the dude was in the LaFace Ruckers van. And he gave us this CD. I'm like, I'll cash, because that was the year that the players anthem all the players bar, yeah. That that came out. So I'm like, I'll cash, okay. Boom, we in we get ready to go home, we in, in the bourbon, so fuck it. Put that motherfucker in. Man, John, that bitch all the way back. Hmm. Get up, get out, get some, man. Took that motherfucker straight to screw. Screw started putting them hoes on his dub, like, yo. Yeah. Straight up. Just man. like that. Like, screw you, get out of here, these dudes. Got them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Man, what's, uh, what would you say, like, some of the shit that you say, like, man, being a rapper, like, uh, allowed me this opportunity? Well, um, as of traveling, you know, and that's, you know, not, not as a, you know, my profession as a rapper, just seeing other different walks of life, you know what I'm saying? Seeing how they live up north, east coast, west coast, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we have this mentality, like, where you from, it'd probably be similar somewhere else, but no, it's not, you know? Because, like, my people from Jersey, and when my cousins hit me like, I'm finna, he just, I'm finna go to the store, I'm finna drive to the store. Drive? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what? East Coast, like, you know what I'm saying? Everything walking. They're walking everywhere. Mm-hmm. You finna drive to the store? They can just walk to the corner. There's a bodega right there. Might be a Dr. J's foot store, right? You know, might be a foot locker right down the street. You know what I'm saying? So, and, that, and that's that. Then you up north. You know what I'm saying? Detroit, you know, you up there. Motherfuckers got uh, basements and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and just like, yeah, like different walks of life, man, and just seeing, so now you can just see, like, damn, how people live here, how people live there, how we live back home. And me, have been traveling, like, man, Houston, play a week. Yeah, it's a, it's 
for Player City, man, you know, you really got a lot of freedom, you know what I'm saying? You know, out here, man, you can really, you know, price cost of living way down, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. One of the things I can say is like, like you say, you know, when you go in different places, you know, it was so much well. I remember I'm on I'm, I'm on bond one time, and we out of town doing the show. I'm going through it, but we do the show, and we just so fired up that some you know some dudes in the crowd they letting the beat play, so these they, they getting up here and freestyling on the mic, but it's like they trying to they looking at me like what you like what you think man, and when we, when they got through they were like man man I can rap man I'm telling you give me another da, da, da. and I'm like. Well, you just don't know the situation I'm in right now. But just to, just to see how people viewed you, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Just because you was on stage, I rocked in it, it, And that was everywhere. Like, people would pull up, say, man, I'm trying to get started, man. Who, I mean, can you introduce me to school, whatever the case may be? Just different things like that, just seeing how people really view you. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. And you talk about school, like school ain't, you can tell school he was a superstar. He gonna point up like, man, he started with this guy, man. Mm. Nah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, that dude was just so humble, like. And I tell anybody this, like, man, school could have put a blank contract in your face, in front of your nigga, you'll sign that bitch. Mm. It ain't gotta be nothing on it. Cause you know, Cause like, you know. this dude here, like, he gonna have your best interest. I'm interests. talking about straight up, man, for yeah. real. Cause he turned, he turned down some money. He turned down, yes. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, you know, you got other people like, damn, man, school trip at night. Nah, you got, you know, you got to, when you, once you do that, man, you lose your creative control on what you got going on, you lost a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I always encourage, man, hey, and y'all listen to this, man, I'm going to tell y'all, man, y'all talk about this business, man. Go watch the Wu-Tang series, mm. man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The way yeah. there is a structure that deal to where they can make sure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's the way he not, wanted it to go, yeah. Yeah, and that's not being selfish because anybody, like, man, them boys are naive. You know what I'm saying? Man, he could have had contracts on Dirty, Method, everybody, you know, like, but just that brotherhood, like, nah, I ain't going to hold my brothers down there. We going to sign this label as a as a label. No, nah, we y'all signing Wu Clan, y'all ain't. Wu Tang, I ain't signing these artists because I want my brothers, just what he said, I want my brothers to have their own opportunity. Own mm -hmm. opportunity, you know what I'm saying? He might want to go Def Jam, he might want to go Loud, he might want to go Broadway, you know what I'm saying? And I respect that, dog. Like, yeah, screw, man. Screw, yeah. screw is good hearted, man. Like, yeah. you know a dude hard good. I remember um, I ended up getting his number while I was gone. Um, and, uh, but actually, it was, it was uh, I had called a friend of mine, Rocky, <laughs> and she uh, was like, man, Nikki over here, like, screw wife at the time, and some more girls that they would all follow, like, they would go to the shows with where Biden and Boy perform or wherever school would, would be performing. And uh, Nikki got on the phone, like, hey, when was the last time you talked to Screw? I said, it's been a minute, it's been a minute. So she said, he'll take his number, call him, he at the shop. Now, this is how you know a dude with heart good, man. I call. He accepts the call. What's up, screw? What's up, boy? Man, just chilling, man. You holding your head up? Yeah, yeah. We talk about two, three minutes, mm. and he's just talking. I say, screw, you know who this is, man? That boy say, who was this? I say, this head, man, off Botany. Now, before I left, remember I told you with the last song I recorded was called Imagine That, mm -hmm. my solo song. So when I say, man, this head off Botany, <laughs> screw say, Imagine that, man. <laughs> <laughs> but he just started talking. That shows you, like, somebody going through something, man, he there. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time I was going, I think that's when Pop and Brock was locked up mm -hmm. from 3-4 mm -hmm. Action too. So he probably just like, Who, whoever this is, man, I'm finna, y'all mm -hmm. finna get off the phone with a smile on your face talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Just thinking, man, it's like, wow, you know, just made a nigga day in there. Mm -hmm. Man, Lee, uh, well, Lee, man, we talk about some of these guest verses, man. Uh, you'd have been on so many. Hold it down, keep my name out your mouth. I mean, just so like, many, just uh, classic. Yeah, like even like um, uh, even like uh, what's that um, hardest pit in the litter. Mm -hmm. 
dog proof be mm -hmm. me me see no in poker now. Mm -hmm. That hook, that was my that was came from a freestyle on school tape. Four trucks I packed, dog proof cause I rapped. Thirty ball can't get caught for the stage in mm. traffic. We'll lean and kill lean, I take four. You know that's so but when Pokey heard it on the school tape, he was like Man, that's a song, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a song. That's a hook. And I'm like, man, he's like, man, you ain't. I said, nah, I ain't fucking with it. Like, shit. Yeah. I want it. And that's four trucks we packed it, dog. Mm. We wrapped it. 30 ball cake and coffee in the state drug traffic. There you have it. 30 mm. is a then. You know what I'm saying? So. He working on the hardest pit in the little album. So he caught him. I'm like, boom. Me and no go to the studio. Cause I think we recorded that at, at Game Face. Uh, who Hawk was on with him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um I think Willow did that beat if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so and, all right. I right, hold up. No, I think we did that that song with up song. Well I don't know. But the 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 roof roof at the beginning of the song. Wait, Swift did that. Swift, okay, yeah. So I think we we, we recorded the up time. Mm -hmm. Because I, because I know him uh, barking at the beginning. That the daughter, it really mm -hmm. was a fuck up. He did that roof, roof, and he tried to come back and dub it, but it was off, and he kept it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's when I went to jail. I was gone like three months though, and that album came out. My boys were like, man, I came home. Boy, like man, that dog pooped that. Cause I started the song out, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a classic. You yeah. know, that's a classic. Man. And then I, a lot of people, I'm gonna tell you like this. And this why this was my shortcoming came. If I would have dropped that with Lee and Kim's album, I had a lot of, was a lot of hits on that album. A lot of people say, man, I got the album, I got it now. I lost it. No shit. I lost that whole album, man. When I went, to, when I went to jail. Um, I, they was all on D88s. I had a bag of D88s that I, I kept at my mom's house. So my mom moved. My sister was there, and I know when she moved, she took the tapes, and they disappeared. Just the features on them. I had redid um, Cocaine Cowboy. Hmm. I had Hawk and Steve on that motherfucker. Um, two songs with screw, two. Now when that two songs with screw rapping, two songs with screw on that album. Oh shit! Yeah, cause no, you always say like, man, all the projects, man. Well, I think this one's on. And I can't blame nobody but myself, cause I recorded most of that before screw died. You know what I'm saying? I lost the album in '03, so them years just being in a the street like you know what I'm saying like never just I'm like too busy mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so yeah the whole album you know what I'm talking about I had um what's man uh, I even got T-Bone <laughs> see man I, that, I did a cocaine cowboy remix man I put everybody on there oh Steve um T-Bone Taz on there Taz with Taz yeah, Taz, Taz, Taz on there you know what I'm saying yeah. like yeah, that was it was yeah that was a nice album man I I redid on uh, I had some cool I had some it's cool John I lost that old album man damn I remember that that uh, with Lena Kim was the post yeah. I used to see that shit everywhere yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I, I was like man I was that was around the time shit. when it was y'all was promoting that uh, C no fucking D Red it was yeah like, that D Red smoking yeah, Lena two thousand yeah. yep. and C no Third Coast Born, 2000. 2000. Mm -hmm. But my project poster, you know, because, you know, it was on some light. Because, I, you know, I, that whole project I put out, I mean, that, I mean, that whole project I was going to put out, like, I funded that whole project that was, you know what I'm saying? And um, from studio time, tracks, everything, I put it all together. And, like I say, I, I just want to focus on music like that right there you know what i'm saying because i always said like man once i 
focus on this like like this, that street shit gonna have to go away. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to juggle both because, you know, that could fuck up anything, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then that was my mindset was. So I was like, man, if I'm really gone, I'm going to have to stop this, you know what I'm saying? So You had him in. I got a partner right now. If I call him right now and start rapping the whole of dime verse, we going to be on the phone for the next 10, 15 minutes just talking yeah. about, man, why would Lean was going so hard, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that shit was, man, man. That, and I, and I seen, verse. like, somebody, I seen my album online. They had the album cover, but when I looked at the track list, it's like all songs that I featured on, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? From, um, Southside Players albums and, you know, Hawk albums, man. Yeah. Mo album, you know. Yeah, man. And, damn. Next Tell Phones. Next Tell Phones, yeah. That's a hard one right there. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, man. So, it's one of the things, man, that, Come that, on, was, man. that was always a plus, man. Knowing that you got a squad that's gone wreck something when they get on it. <laughs> and, and this thing yeah, used to bring it, man. Yeah, like, but then yeah. like out of everybody in the group, like this, like man, just on some lyric, like yeah, hey, it was the one to beat. Yeah, he gonna come. I remember I used to ask head like, man, write a verse for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he, 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 I be tripping off. I used to be like word play though. I, I, I used to be like, man, cause like that imagine like every song like if you um. Even DJ Red, DJ Red be like, man, who was this on it? Who first? Oh, that was, that's, yeah, like, you know. I said, oh, yeah, that was it, man, like, yeah. You know, and then no. just the, man. Dead, Dead's going to bring that, with that yeah. fire delivery, man, everybody. Yeah, like, Dead's got that, 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 that presence on that, yeah. Dead's, yeah. man, that energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Gator had something on that mic, man, too. Like, Gator, man, wordplay. Like, that, I'll put y'all on the wordplay. Them boys. Yeah, Gator had a little something. I mean, not listen. Gator was hard. Nah, like, Gator was hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haters like, plotting on my factors. Boogie plug like adapters. Can't get caught yeah. up in the rapture. Stack more Green Bay than Packers. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what he said. <laughs> Keep my eyes on my riches. Yeah, yeah, that's and a strap that, and my riches. That's who started that Tooster, Texas, man. That's where everybody. Tooster, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> the Gator right there. That shit, that Gator, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. little bro, three man. Yeah, third. Uh, I'm talking man. about right now. Right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right that now, push, that push yeah. record, yeah, that, that shit right now, man. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Got to yeah. bring lunch, playing with three though. For real, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For real man. But man, that, that's that's always been the plus. Like that was always the good part about it. Like we always was confident in the music, mm -hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. was always confident in the music. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But what day is that? We sit there, wait, 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 yeah. Nah, I'll be pulling up, man. Let me see him up. <laughs> call it boy, man. You call him? No, I'm call him. He's hit a lick, number Benjamin Franklin's. <laughs> Straight yeah. up. Uh -huh. What's that now? You got front? All right, I'm ready. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston.